What is up, fam? Hope you're having a better day than me. Welcome to my life movie. I usually don't complain about a thing, but I will complain about this because I've been sick for like five days and I haven't left my house. Today's the first day ever that I leave my house. Still, though, I am extremely thankful. Thankful for this guy right here. Hey, Ethan. How's your food? Good. Yeah. I got something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring you into some place that I haven't brought you guys in. in a, no, drink that. Okay. You're gonna get sick. He just took a sip from my drink. That's good. But yeah, I haven't brought you guys into here in a long time. Rural King. That's where I used to get my chicken feed, and I used to go there like at least every other week. Or that's where I would get my chickens from. And I miss coming here. I, I need to grab something in here. I'm trying to get my my one UTV. The battery died, and they sell batteries here, pretty cheap batteries. So that's all I need because I'm gonna try to trade it for like a jet ski or something. Like just do an even trade, like on Craigslist or something. I don't know. I'm gonna try. Hey, little guys, you're all snuggled together. Look at this guy, he's so cute. Oh, they're not skittish at all. They're pretty chill. That's a big guy. Oh, look at this ultra portal. Hey, how's it going? Can I count? Can I have a hug? <laughs> he just pecked at me. You get along good with Sasquatch. I just want to pass. We're cool. We're cool. Whoa, whoa! Give me kills! Oh, what does it say here? Please do not reach fingers into cage. The hen has laid eggs and will will kiss you. Better kiss you. You're gonna kiss me? Here at Rural King in Brooksville, they usually have a bigger selection than this of baby chickens, but they did this. This is kind of new. They have it separated because I ain't gonna lie. I, I did bother me that anybody can just touch them. Oh, look at these guys. They're so cute. You guys want to come home with me? I wish. Some of them almost look dead when they're sleeping. And there's some more over there. Oh, those are silkies. They also have stuff for prank videos. Check this out. I have a pretty good idea to use this for right here. How funny would it be to drive around town with a gas thing still attached to your car as if you drove off with it? I've actually really done that before in real life. Not even lying. Yeah, I drove off with the gas thing. I was embarrassed. Should we do that? These are expensive though. Yeah. $58. All right, fam. Never brought james out on a ride on my wave runner so i decided to take him out good luck and i have a fever but it's okay james was really selfish he was like i don't care if you have a fever <laughs> no i'm just kidding i did have a fever though but i'm good now but check it out we just came across a great white shark it's right there in front of us and he's been kind of stalking us that's that's definitely a great white come on come here come over here buddy we should have some fish I know. Oh, that would be so cool. We should, yeah. we should bring some like um. Bait, bait next time. Let's maybe some frozen fish, or maybe some cockroaches. Some cockroaches. This water is so yucky too. It's so shallow. I don't know what he's eating. He's like just staying there. It's kind of weird. Be very like. We let us get right up to him last time. Yeah, he did. Pretty good sized dolphin. I wouldn't recommend doing this with a boat, like with a prop. You know, like I have a, this is a jet ski, so. I mean, I wouldn't really get that close to him even with this too, but. Like when I get super close, I just turn it off. Well, look, he's right there next to us. Oh yeah, I mean, that's not a good idea. Where'd he go? There he goes. Hi, little guy. No, we're not. Oh, yeah. He's breathing. No, don't go. Oh. Close call. Really close call. Oh, look at all 
those fish, they like jumped out, out of the water. Look, 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 he's right there. Okay, um, for those of you who don't know, I mean, that's not really a great white shark, that's a dolphin. Yeah, so we were just, we were just messing around. But anyways, uh, I know this video is kind of all over the place, started out with, with me and Ethan, but um, last week I had something happen where my dog Cookie got really sick and she actually went home with my girl Tiffany. Tiffany's going to be, well, I'm going to be back in Virginia in about a week from now, but Cookie is with Tiffany right now and she took her to the vet again, but my dog Cookie's not doing really good right now. I'm going to share some of that video footage with you right now and let me know what you think could be wrong with her maybe you had a, a small dog that had a similar problem so let's get right into that what's the matter cookie you, you okay i don't know what is up fam hope you're having a great day today there's something wrong with my dog uh, she's been coughing like this since yesterday actually probably like a day and a half we got lucky and our vet's gonna take us early because sort of an emergency to the vet and they said her heart was strong yeah that's right we just took her to the vet a couple weeks ago and they checked her all out she didn't have heartworms her heart was strong they said like hey she's a she's a very healthy 13 year old dog yeah, she is. so this is kind of rare the only thing i could think of is she got something from another dog Maybe when she was getting groomed. I'm hoping she's okay. Maybe it's just her getting old. Cookie, we're gonna get you fixed up, okay, Cook? We're gonna get you fixed up, okay? go see the doctor. I have had Cookie. It's crazy because like I had Ethan, had Max, had Malia, and then I had Cookie, mm -hmm. just like that. I can't have you leave me. Aww. You're my youngest daughter. You're my youngest daughter. <laughs> She wants to sit on my lap. Mm -hmm. Come on, she, Cookie. She did the whole drive here. Hi, Zeus. How you doing, Zeus? You're a pretty Amazon. Yes, you are. What, what did it say here about you? Well, I love to chat. I might sing you a song. But even though I enjoy playing with you, I also enjoy a nip at your fingers. Oh. You, you like to bite? You like a little nibble? You're so cute though. Do you have a stool sample? Gosh. It's gonna be up for adoption? Mm hmm Look at you and your face, you're so cute. Look at your eyes, you're so cute. Kitty kills. I hope you're gonna be okay. Watch up, my boy. Watch up, my boy. Watch up, my boy. <laughs> Doing it now. Of course, when the doctor gets out, the vet tech will hear her cough like that. Okay, you're gonna be okay. Cookie weighs 12 pounds. We're here, West Side Animal Clinic. Place they saved my bird's life. My bird almost died. To hook Jupiter up. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Good news, Cookie. You're gonna be okay. Well, they just gave Cookie a shot. Supposedly she has like a respiratory type infection or kennel cough. Kennel cough. And it's, it's like a cold, it's like a common cold. So, I mean, it runs its course, but they can get infections from it. Pneumonia. The good news is, is Cookie, Cookie's heart is fine. So it's not a heart condition. They checked her out. They gave her some antibiotics and they're gonna give us some medicine. They said to monitor her, monitor her for like the next few days. So I think she's going to be okay. Thank you so much for your prayers. If you were on my Twitter and you seen, I, I was li really worried and I thought it was something I was expecting the worst. I thought we were like putting Cookie down today or something. So I'm glad she's okay. I didn't think it was. Cookie's never had a cold. I mean, I've never had a dog that got kennel cough. Never even heard of it before until today. We started doing some research online. Yeah. I should be okay. Thank God. I hope so. 
I'll keep you updated in the next few days. So that was a week ago that I recorded that. That's when Tiffany was down. And Cookie is, she hasn't made any improvement at all. So just yesterday, Tiffany brought her to the vets and they gave her a stronger antibiotic. They took x-rays and they said that it was bronchitis. She's still coughing, but she's not coughing as bad. So that's the update. A lot of people have been reaching out to me and asking me how Cookie's doing. And just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Please keep her in your prayers. My dog Cookie's 13 years old. I've had her a long time, but I'm not ready to say goodbye just yet. I want to give a special shout out. My heart goes out to anybody out there that has lost a pet. Even if it was, you know, a long time ago. I mean, everybody has that pet. I'm sure you have a pet that you lost that you miss, huh? Yeah. Before you leave, I do want to share something kind of cool with you. I did release some new Gimme Kiss merch. For the longest time, actually for a long, long time, I've only had the black Gimme Kiss font available and I just released it in red color and it looks pretty nice. And I also added font to the back that has a really important saying behind the whole Gimme Kiss gesture. When I say Gimme Kiss, I don't just mean like Gimme Kiss. It's, it's all about embracing the ones we love before you leave them. I, I think that's very important. Um, I haven't really vlogged much in the last few days because I've been so sick. But I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Thanks for praying for me. And if anybody's out there struggling with any kind of sickness right now, my heart's with you. Uh, sometimes, you know, don't let a sickness take over you. Just get out. I mean, get your rest. I'm not saying not to get your rest, but sometimes you got to fight it. Maybe go outside, get some fresh air. All right, ready to haul butt? No, I don't like it. I, I don't like it when he goes fast. <laughs> Go for now, so before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace.